everyone, stay tuned and watch how I make this lovely okra and obono soup from Nigeria. It is so delicious. See you at the end of the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary Tasty Tips. I'm here to show you how to do some amazing dishes on this channel and other things as well. If you have something suggesting you want me to cook, please comment down below and I will make it happen for you. Right now, I will be doing another African dish. It's called, a, I'm gonna do an okra with a bottle soup. This is the albano here. And I'm gonna show you the rest of the ingredients that I will be using to start this dish. Stay tuned. Okay, I will be putting some smoked turkey in the soup. And what I have here is some stockfish. I'm soaking it. It don't really take that long to soak because they are pieces, so you really don't have to soak them if you don't want to. Just clean them really well. And the seasons is adorable seasoning. This right here is some beef stew meat, just chopped up. This right here is four jalapeno peppers. And this is four of the beef maggot cubes and one of the chicken maggot cubes one large red onion, and crayfish, and I will be cutting up the okra later, so let's get started. Okay, to start off this soup, have a very different taste. Um, I like it. It's something that you know I've been eating for a while. I don't eat it every time, but I will eat it. It's delicious to me. Okay, right now this is nine cups of water inside my pot here. I'm gonna start adding my smoked turkey meat to it. And everything I have here been already uh, washed and clean. Just make sure when you add your water, just make sure that it's covering the meat. Just very little, just as long as it's covering it. Okay, I will start off by adding my seasoning. This is adorable season. Let's go back and front. You don't have to add too much seasoning because the meat already have a very nice smoky taste. So this is, I'm going to add four of the beef maggot cubes inside. All is just to give flavor to the water. It's like a broth to the water. And I'm also going to add the one chicken William to it. Just one more here, the beef. Okay. And we're going to add the onion, just one large onion. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for about a good hour and we will be back. Okay, before I let this cook, we're gonna go ahead and add our beef stew meat to the pot also. Okay, well, we're about 30 minutes in cooking the, the soup. What I normally like to do is when the water starts boiling really good, I like to add some palm oil 
I'm sorry I didn't show y'all earlier. I thought I had it on the table, but I'm gonna add about two tablespoons full. You can add more if you want. And also, I'm gonna add the stockfish. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take some liquid from the pot right now and go ahead and add the four hollandaise peppers. I'm gonna take some liquid from it right now so I can add the four peppers to it. Okay, this is four that I blend up with the liquid. I'm gonna add it in like so. Now I'm gonna let this continue on cooking. Okay, everyone, well, I'm back. It's been about a good hour and 15 minutes now. I'm gonna add the grind of crayfish, the whole one ounce pack. A water level still looks great. Yeah, turkey don't take a long time to cook. It's already uh, pre-smoked, so. So what I wanna do is now, I have about three pounds of okra chopped up. Can you see it here? Three pounds of okra chopped up really small. I'm gonna add this off in here like so. You're gonna blend this off in here like this. And this is gonna be an okra and a bono only. Okay, I'm gonna add, this is a two ounce pack. I'm not gonna put the whole thing. I wanna put maybe half of it inside of the pot with the okra. And just distribute it all around. If you don't like a very slimy soup, Obani is very slimy with the okra together. Okay, half of it is perfect. I think it would need any more. See, it's very slimy. That's how you see the soup. Once I put the okra in there, it don't take a long time to cook. Y'all see, this is very simple, quick, to the point soup. Let this cook maybe like two or three more minutes, and we are ready to turn this baby off. Okay, everyone, this is the end of the soup. Okra and Obano. This is the finishing. I'm gonna wait till it cool down a little bit and I will plate some up. Like I say, this is how it is. It's very runny. 
very slimy. But like I said, it's very delicious. Okay. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. So we'll be plating up in a minute. Okay, everyone, this is the end of the video. This is the okra obando soup. Let me show you how it is. I say it's very slimy, very drooly, but that's what people like. If this is something that you like, please feel free to make this soup. I'm gonna say it's very delicious. And I would like to thank you for tuning in to my channel. And I will see you next time for another great video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and tell your family and friends about it. Hey, come on along. Enjoy cooking with Merry Tasty Tips. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.